Welcome you all, this is Saturday, session number five, and finally, the VO2 max intervals. This is going to be the beginner's version of VO2 max intervals, and the master of this session is Dr. Steven Seiler. Let's go. Welcome you all, this is our fifth session. Today we are doing the VO2 max intervals, and these are going to be beginner VO2 max. So don't worry, uh, you're prepared for this kind of uh, intensity and the time spent in zone three. According to our three model, three zone model, the easier one, the simplest one, uh, we'll be riding zone three during those intervals. And these will be six intervals in two sets. I mean, first set, three intervals, and the second set, three intervals. We have two minutes rest between the intervals. The, the intervals are 30 seconds in length and between the sets we'll have four minutes uh, rest period or recovery and then I'm going to share with you today's session master advice uh, and it's Dr. Steven Seiler and now we're doing just five minutes of the warm-up we don't have to do too much too long usually for uh, hard sessions you would be warming up for much longer, but uh, I will also advise you here to take the first interval at least, maybe even the second and the third as a testing one. You're gonna try to find your pace for 30 seconds. Two important things. You must think more of your form and the pedaling technique than the power and second, it's not supposed to be your maximum, maximum effort. It's not gonna be your neuromuscular interval. It's just the VO2 and three, uh, and uh, 30 seconds in zone three is pretty enjoyable because you feel you're working hard, but it's short, and we have long rest periods. <clears throat> So this is just for the beginners. Uh, if you're doing this series for the first time with me, uh, I advise you to go twice through the first six sessions. So today's and tomorrow's, and then do rest day and go over one, two, three, four, five, six again, so that you will memorize everything I'm talking about. And also you will do this interval session twice before you step up to uh, longer ones with shorter recover recovery period and or more intervals six is not much so even though the intensity is high actually the work we're doing is really enjoyable not very hard so we are stressing our body but we are doing it in steps 150 left for the first interval. So think about your form. You want to be composed. You don't want to be tight with your handlebars and not too loose. You don't want to pump during either warm up or intervals. Think about your position. That's actually what, what these intervals are for. Okay, 125, analyze your relaxed yet composed position on the bike. Okay, 35 seconds left to the first interval. How to make the intensity right? If you're on the controllable, smart, smart interactive trainer, you can simply adjust the resistance using either Garmin or whatever, uh, whatever uh, computer you have. 
device, not advice. Uh, if you're on the non-interactive trainer, you can either shift one or two sprockets down the cassette, or maybe you have lever with the resistance, then go one or two up. Okay, start now. Start increasing your intensity with your cadence, of course. Find out the right resistance. You should feel you're really pushing with your legs. But you see, I'm not doing any crazy stuff. Seven left. Done. Okay. Two minutes rest. Look at my heart rate. It's 145. Look how it's going down. It would go down much faster, 46, if I wasn't talking to you, of course, and keep nose breathing. Now think about how was the first interval? Was it okay? Have you found that intensity to be kept throughout the interval? Try repeat it in the second one. If you already know what gear, what cadence, you might go straight into it. When you look at me, you might think, ha, this guy isn't really working hard. This is hard. I mean, 300 watts for 30 seconds, even for me with my 270 FTP is low, but don't worry. We're gonna be doing those 400, 500 watts intervals. And especially for 30 seconds, I could go for much higher than 300. But still, this is power zone three. Okay, 40 seconds left, recover. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Go hard. Not max maxed, maxed out, but hard. Feel your pushing. Feel your pe uh, pelvis, your butt, it's stable. done okay you will also notice that with each interval at the same intensity it starts feeling harder because those will add up okay catch the breath 140 30 seconds left. If you can, if you're able to only nose breathe during those rests between intervals, that's great. Uh, even during those short 30 seconds intervals, 
I'm going to gear number two in terms of breathing. I'm going from uh, in and out through the nose to in through the nose, out through the mouth. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Go hard, go hard. Relax upper body, stay composed, relax your face, it's the legs that's supposed to be working, three, one, that's it, okay, we're done with the first set, you should now know a lot about how hard, short, intense intervals are, and the advice from today's master, Dr. Steven Seiler, is what he actually said about one rule which is so popular in the US, in every other gym, and you can listen about it in his TED talk. So Dr. Steven Seiler, thank you very much, and he said, no pain, no gain. Uh, he didn't say exactly what I'm saying, but pretty much he explained that this is rubbish. <laughs> of course, we do have some pain during those intervals and uh, the next ones, next week and the next week, will be a little bit more um, challenging. But just remember when you were a small little kid running around with other kids, riding your little tricycle or bike, you want it to be fast, right? and you wrote what, what you thought was fast. Have you ever uh, thought of doing pain? You were just having fun. And that's also what Kate Courtney said, remember? Fun is fast. So we're gonna, we're gonna focus on that. We don't wanna have like, excruciating pain on every session or, or, or even not on every interval session. We wanna feel we're working hard and listen, those six three minutes intervals add up to three minutes, right? Because we have six by 30 seconds. And that means we are doing three minutes zone three. If you try to do it just in one straight three minutes interval, it would be really hard you would see your heart rate going much higher than it goes during those intervals. We will be doing those longer ones, then the intensity goes down a little, but you don't wanna have too much pain. Other thing is also that I don't know what problems you might have. You're prob probably in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, eight, 80s, why not? You might experience some some problems with your knees, with your back, whatever. You don't want to strain your body also mechanically too much at the beginning. This is why I'm talking to you so much. Just think about it. Remember that. Memorize that. We go with little steps doing huge, huge performance jump, jump over the weeks and months. You will see that. Okay, 45 seconds to the second, three intervals set. Nose breathe. One, and go, go hard for 30 seconds. Go hard, go hard.
one, done. Okay, we've got just two intervals left. Good job, well done, really well done. I'm proud of you. You're already in the fifth session doing intervals. Great. There is wonderful future ahead of you. We should actually say this present time is already wonderful. So be present, be present here, feel it, have fun with it. A minute and 20. and go, go hard, go hard. It's not no pain, no gain. It's like intense fun is gain, right? 15 seconds. Adjust your gears. If you don't feel like really going hard, working hard. Done. Wonderful. This is wonderful. Okay, the gears, the breathing gears. Uh, we're talking about the uh, respiratory threshold, which is kind of between zone one and two, and then two and three. And breathing gears are actually three. The first one, when we inhale, and exhale through the nose, first gear, inhale, nose, mouth, exhale, second, and the third, mouth, in and out. Uh, you may notice when you look at me that during those 30 seconds, not super hard intervals, I'm actually nose breathing or going to the second gear, nose, in, mouth, out. Try to learn to nose breathe as much as you can without, not even choking, without feeling the lack of air. Just teach your nose to open and use your, the device that is, that is made for, for uh, breathing. 30 seconds left to the last interval. Do it beautifully, okay? And hard. Two. One, go for 30 seconds.
one down. Beautiful, beautiful guys. Boys and girls. Now, five minutes, cool down to be ready to go straight into the shower after the cool down so that we don't sweat too much after. Drink water, not colorful sweet fluids called super healthy sports drinks. Drink water. And now think about what's been done during this session. And I'm pretty sure, let me know, let me know in the comments that you felt, wow, I've done VO2 intervals, VO2 max, and it felt amazing. It felt good. I felt this warmth in my muscles. I felt I was working hard. But still, I feel like I could, I could do more. And this is what we want to do. This, this means no pain, no gain theme goes to the trash. Dr. Steven Seiler in that uh, TED talk, but also many interviews that were done with him, uh, also in the podcast, uh, he says that he's been observing endurance athletes doing repetitions, like heel repetitions, not running, but walking, so that they can do more repetitions, more time in the aerobic zone. And also, don't think of the zone one aerobic and zone three anaerobic as we go aerobically, then there's a wall, we hit the wall, switch, to the anaerobic engine. The aerobic is with us throughout the whole session, the whole race, and is the majority of energy that propels us, whatever sport we do. And the anaerobic only adds a little, or sometimes actually a considerable amount of energy, but we pay for that. We can do it shorter. We can't go that long. Okay, so don't think there is a switch between the zones. Just make sure when we are doing zone one, it's zone one. When we're doing zone three, it's zone three. 300 watts is, for me, is uh, 30 watts more than my FTP, which is low now. Uh, and for 30 seconds, I could go 500 watts, no problem. But we'll be doing that, we will be doing hard intervals in the future. It's also uh, time, the time for you to check out your body. Once again, position on the bike, no numbness, no, no pain that would stop you from riding. You can feel a little uncomfortable on the saddle or so for the first one, two weeks, something like that. Otherwise, you should feel great on your bike. Uh, just as if it was, it was, it's been made for you, right? Okay, one minute, 10 seconds. This is the time for you. Meditate on what you've done, what you've achieved. You've set up, you're set up for a beautiful day right now. And nose breathe for that 60 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, you're the champions for me, guys. Thanks so much, it's been amazing, 
and we are done with the intervals. Oh yeah.